The biodiesel test is also known as TDG L104, which is its official CEC title. So with modern diesel fuel, there's an amount of biodiesel in there. And additionally, with modern exhaust after treatment devices, some of the fuel actually ends up in the lubricating oil. And it's this fuel and specifically the bio content of the fuel that is degrading the oil. Therefore, with these changes in the industry, it was deemed that it was necessary to have a new test come into the sequences to protect engines from biodiesel going into the sump, leading towards piston deposits, sludge deposits, and so forth. So the 646 test simulates that. What it does is it has a periodic injection of fuel into the actual sump. And so over time, as it's running, it's building that fuel up. And what the test is testing is to ensure we get the performance in terms of cleanliness on the actual engine when we have that biodiesel in place. We will dismantle that engine and carry out a full inspection where our rators will disassemble the pistons and look for the amount of carbonaceous deposits that's built up in the piston grooves. lubrizol has been instrumental in the development of the biodiesel test as part of the CEC test development group. We're an active member on the group. We've attended almost 30 meetings over the last few years, industry meetings, primarily discussing 646 Bio, and uh, we even invested in installing our own test here at Hazelwood. Lubrizol understands the technical challenges and requirements of ACA oil performance and is very well prepared and positioned to be able to help our partners and customers throughout the world respond and upgrade their products to meet ACA oil requirements both today and in the future.